guys, Mitch here from the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and today I'm going to take a look at I Am One, and just more specifically, just a few of the things that I've kind of like been using it in a lot of my videos, and I've had it for probably since it came out, and just I guess a few things that I've overlooked. I just I like I like a lot of the sounds that are in it and so I'm just going to uh, kind of go through a few things and how I've been using it here lately um, the first thing is there's a file button up here and I never really noticed or paid attention but you can actually save your sessions and where that really comes in handy is over here you have uh, combinations you have multi and you have programs so program is just a single sound um, combo is like this film score right here where at the lower octaves you may have some different sounds like no no strings but then when I or no piano but then when I go down a little further and so you have some of these you know uh, combi sounds um, but then over here on you have a multi sound and basically what you can do is you can load up eight different presets eight different patches and you know uh, you can combine them you can have them you know layer together or you can you know just set your MIDI controller if you have multiple channels and if you want to you know record a you know part right here with you know this universe patch and then you can switch to channel 2 um, because these are defaults if you click on the MIDI MIDI channel right here 1 2 3 all the way up to 8 but what's cool is you can change this to MIDI channel 1 and so what I can do is in this one I can load up a piano okay so now I have universe and I have piano And if I don't like, if one's, you know, a little loud, I can change the velocity. Um, if I want to, say, add this to channel one, the third one, and I want to put a bass in. Uh, search bass. But see, it's kind of still kind of um, a little high. I can go over here to this transpose, transpose it down negative 12, which is going to be a whole octave. Or if I don't want it to go all the way up, then I can change this. You know, so you can you can do some of the key zones like you can in layer. Um, another cool thing is, and I have it. You can filter out some of the the messages, and so if I hold down hold down the uh, the um, sustain button. piano you know it sustains a little bit but that uh, the pad just keeps keeps going uh, if I can do this little DMP right here I think that's probably maybe damper there we go and now I hold the sustain button down and and so now the this first channel right here, this universe is, is ignoring my sustain button. So that's pretty cool, I think. And uh, so you can, you know, you can zone zone it out all you want to. And then, yeah, you can transpose it. Uh, um, you know then each of these and so say you you have this and you're like okay I like this song I want to save it so you just go up to file and you can save and he's like oh well I want something different 
you know, you could do a new song. Title it maybe song three. And see now it goes back to reverts back everything back to um, kind of default. And so you just have the universe. And so another thing is you could have you could kind of do sets. And so like if you want to play piano on a couple songs and you know some strings on another song, you could set up, you know, eight different sounds here and you don't have to, you know, worry too much about um, you know, flipping back and searching, you can just uh, <clears throat> change your MIDI uh, controller channel and it'll correspond right to the IM1, which is really nice. Another thing is it has master effects. I didn't really, I didn't really, haven't never really looked, but it does. And so I'm going to put a, um, put a little bottle right there. And then so you can add in effects. And so you've got some uh, just regular stereo delay here. And so you have you have nothing, but you can send it. And see so down here you have the uh, the different times. And so you got two effects you can actually. And which is, you know, that's it's really nice being able to um, to do that and have you know different effects here. That's kind of global. Uh, and if so, if you've got a set or something that you want to do, and you've you know you're doing some multi-layered sounds, and you want to you know have a little reverb on something, but not something else, and. <laughs> can just kind of layer them and then you know send however much of that of this effect into or send the sound however much you want to send in each of these effects so it's really I mean it's pretty comprehensive I hadn't really even looked too much into this I've just been just presets and just playing around and then I was just um, playing around the other day and I was just like well I can I can do a whole lot more with just um, <clears throat> with this, you know, with this multi thing, and then you can you can turn the attack time up earlier. I had to, I was playing around with some strings, and I wanted the strings to kind of build up slowly, but I didn't want them when I was playing some little lead stuff up in the upper um, upper octaves. I didn't want that to, I didn't want the strings to play every time, and so I added the uh, attack time up. Um, did I save that? Let's see. And so then you can go back and open. What do I have here under more? Um, so I can turn this attack time up. See that how the the strings slowly build. But when I'm playing the upper part, the strings don't really come in until later. Okay, so I guess that's, I, th I think that's all, you know, the things that I've been using um, here lately just to, that I didn't really know, but now I do. So I thought I would just share that with you guys. Um, continue to um, like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you have not already. I do have a Patreon account. Uh, it's patreon.com slash the audio dabbler. Um, and I will... Uh, Talk to you guys later.